when you start the game you want to press your c key and that'll bring up the stats panel on the bottom left it'll bring up all your runes and your extended stats and you can basically cycle through each disguise uh, for your allies to check their stats and there's three main stats that you want to check most of the time when you're laning you basically should be using your ad carries disguise but depending on some of the stats this can give you some weaknesses so the main three stats that you want to check are movement speed so you know which character to switch to to come back to lane faster and then you want to check attack range to know which one gives you the most space distance against your enemy and then attack speed is sort of a tiebreaker for attack range if two disguises have the same attack range then you can use attack speed as sort of a tiebreaker whoever has the highest attack speed will help you push the lane faster although recently i've discovered it's also handy to use movement speed as a tiebreaker especially when you're in matchups where you really need the range but it's kind of something you have to decide on your own whether it's worth it or not and i'm still kind of experimenting with it you used to also check health regen like three patches ago but they ended up ninja buffing it so now every single disguise has eight health regen but the way it used to be is ad carries had around four mage enchanters uh, mostly mages i think like mid lane mages that want support they had like six health regen and then nico had eight so nico usually had the highest health regen but basically if you got low in lane before and you had a uh, ad carry disguise you wanted to switch to the mage disguise that was the idea behind it so instead of four health region you would at least have six or if you were playing way back you would switch to nico and you get the eight health region but you don't need to do that anymore because now they'll have eight i'm just pointing this out in case in the future it gets changed again and the health regions change again based on the disguise but let's keep going down the line so next up is movement speed um, basically top and jungle melee characters will have the highest movement speed out of all the characters Nico has 340 and 99% of the time your melee top or jungler will have either 340 or above um, melee supports will have really low movement speed and AD carries will also have really low movement speed like around 330 so you want to either use Nico to go back to lane or if your melee jungler melee top player has higher movement speed then you switch to those to go back to lane i learned this when i was coming back to lane as yumi and i noticed i was slow as fuck basically yumi has like negative movement speed and yeah so just check your melee top and jungler most of the time you can also use in this guy with the highest movement speed to run away from a gank to the opposite side from where the jungler is coming from or if you're just trying to run away from someone in general a good example of this is my recent eco clone video where if you notice i go into the trundle disguise to run away because trundle has like 350 movement speed which is one of the highest ones then for attack range you'll usually just end up picking your ad carry uh, you just gotta watch out because some ad carries aren't worth it to take the attack range like some of them have around 450 like I think Kindred has around 450. She's not really an AD carry, but she's like a marksman. I think Karthus has around the same. Or maybe it's like 500, but it's like 450 to like 500. It's really low. Same thing with Lucian. Lucian has low attack range. So in some matchups, you just want to keep that in mind. Like against like Oriana, Syndra, things where you really need the range. You sometimes, sometimes it's like not even worth it to go into those low attack range disguise. But most of the time, you'll be fine. You'll have like an Ash or something. And you can just go to like the regular like 550 range <clears throat> and you should be fine. But yeah, for attack range, it'll usually just be your AD carry. It won't be like Kindred or Karthus. You have like a range jungler, it'll usually just be AD carry. And if it's not AD carry, it's maybe your support, especially if it's a mage support. And lastly, for attack speed, like I said before, you basically just want to use this as a tiebreaker or if two characters two disguises have the same attack range then if one has 0.69 attack speed and the other has 0.72 then you want to use the one with 0.72 because it'll help you uh, get more pry in the lane push the lane faster 
Unless, of course, it's a matchup where you value the movement speed difference more than the attack speed difference. The last thing I want to add as well is that recently I've been thinking a lot more about movement speed in Nico across the board. And I think in some matchups like Ori Syndra, it's sometimes better to just not even disguise at all and to just keep the Nico classic no disguise. Because it's basically a little easier to dodge the Ori ball or the Syndra balls with Nico's movement speed over trying to dodge it with the AD carry's movement speed. Because the AD carry will always give you a little bit less movement speed. But I'm still testing this part out basically. Because obviously the downside to laning without a disguise is that it's a lot harder to land your empowered auto attack in lane. But yeah, I'm still testing it out. But yeah, that was basically it. I'll let you guys watch the rest of this clip where I find that Master Yi has insane movement speed because sometimes you'll lock out. Some characters have like insane like 350, 355 movement speed. And yeah, if you have any questions, drop them down below and enjoy the rest of the clip. And I'll see you guys in the next one. That is crazy actually. Master Yi has like, I think probably the highest movement speed. I mean, it's the highest movement speed that I've seen when I'm when I like check. Usually, only goes up to three forty-five. This guy's three fifty-five. Nico's three forty.